Daryl Paquette is a coach for the youth classes at Frankfurt Black Eye Boxing. His sons, Lyndon and Owen, joined the club a few years ago and have fought amateur bouts in Ontario. Paquette's a former professional hockey player that came to Brantford to goaltend for the Blast. Since then, he's made Brantford his home with his wife and children. So, I mean, uh, I guess the best place to start is telling a little bit about your sports background, Daryl, and then how you ended up uh, where you are now working so intimately with the boxing club. Okay, um, I'm originally from Sudbury, Ontario. Uh, my background with my brothers, uh, we've been hockey players. We grew up playing hockey. Uh, myself and my older brother uh, both played in the Ontario Hockey League. Um, I was fortunate enough, after the OHL, they went on to uh, play university hockey and then subsequently signed a contract with the Washington Capitals. And I played three years in, uh, in minor pro. I, I never got a chance to make the NHL. I played some exhibition games, but that was pretty, uh, pretty much the extent of my career. Um, played in the American Hockey League, East Coast Hockey League, and ended up in Brantford um, with the Brantford Smoke. And yeah, and, and somebody who makes it so far, with a sport like that. You're now here in Brantford, settled in Brantford, got a couple of kids. It seems counterintuitive that, uh, that hockey's not exactly their number one sport here. Uh, well, they were both were in hockey. Um, it was something, my, my younger brother was a, was a boxer and he was uh, a pretty accomplished boxer himself. And it was something that I always wanted to do uh, for myself, but never really had the time when I was when I was playing hockey. I was able to dabble a little bit in different martial arts and that, but never been able to take anything seriously. Um, and it was something I always wanted to give to my my kids, uh, something to do and try. And um, I brought them to the club one day, and it was kind of a, a, a different kind of training for them and something to do. And they both just fell in love with it. I mean, it was it was easy. I mean, they started off. They had a lot of time. One-on-one uh, -on -one time with Jackie, and uh, if, if you get to know Jackie, Jackie's amazing, and the kids fell in love with him, and here we are. We're here every day. Um, I can't say enough about the coaches here. I mean, I've had, I've experienced some really good coaches in my, in my lifetime, and um, Rob, Andrew, Jackie here are, are phenomenal. And uh, like I said, my kids just fell in love with this, with this place. And uh, you know, hockey's just kind of been in the back burner. They don't even care about it anymore. And and I'm kind of good with that. I mean, it, yeah. we we get to do this ourselves. Um, it's a sport where it's 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 them them and their, an opponent so all that outside influences and all the other things that go on in other sports it's not here they, they either they go in the ring and either they perform and they perform well or if they don't perform well they know the result very quickly so it's it's a very interesting sport but it's, a, it's, it's humbling but it's a lot of fun and coaching uh, you mentioned it there coaching is not just about teaching a sport that's why these guys are so good right it's it, it, coaching it's uh, it's 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 life. I mean, there, there's life lessons, and it's funny, you know, this sport, um, it's about life lessons. I mean, they, they, they take what you learn here in the gym, you could easily go out and apply it on the street, and you could do it either the right way or the wrong way. But the message here is what you learn here is it's for the sport. It's not to go out there and, and to be a bully or to be a goon. It's, it's to, to give you the, that confidence. Um, you know, to know that you, you have a skill, and if you had to defend yourself, you could, but the message is we don't want you to do that. We want you to be able to talk your way out of things, and um, and I think for the most part, when you see the kids in here and, and, and the adults that are here, they, they have a confidence where I think when they, when they um, are approached with those type of situations, they know what their abilities are, and they're able to just walk away from things and, and deal with things um, in a way I, I think we'd like to see most of our society do it. So yeah, they're learning, the learning um, and the, the, the responsibility that, that is taught by the coaches here, it's, it's second to none. And I, I mean, I think that's something that I take away with every day, that it's, it's more than just showing them a skill. It's, it's the life skills that go along with it. And that confidence that they get can extend, as, again, well beyond just a bullying situation. Well, it's, it's, it's everything. I mean, the confidence, you know, I, I look at my oldest boy and, and where he's been. I mean, he was always a, a confident person, but he was always kind of a quiet, um, shy person. Still is, but you can see there's a confidence with him now. There, you can see there's a there's there's a little bit more. He, he knows that he can handle himself, but he also it's translated into his school. There's a dedication. I mean, we, when you come here every day, whether you want to work out or not, it's it's a hard workout, and they they put the effort into it. But you can really see it you know flipping over into other things that he does in his life and you know high school has been a perfect example he's very dedicated to his job he's working um, he comes home he's doing his homework he comes to the gym he does his workouts and then again he's back to the school work so there's 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 more to it than just coming in and, and learning the sport there 
there's a, there's a confidence, there's a skill, and there's um, just that dedication to, to, to other aspects in his life. So it's been great. And your involvement went pretty quickly beyond just dropping your kids off at the club, right? Yeah, I, you know, from, from playing hockey, I've been teaching hockey school since I was 15 years old with my older brother, and um, coaching's kind of always been something that's, that's been part of my life. And um, being a goalie and my kids being a goalie and having my own goalie clinics, um, you know, it's a very technical sport. And when you come into boxing, it's very technical. So there's things that I, I picked up very quickly. Um, and I think, again, it just comes from playing a technical position at one point, um, watching how punches are being thrown. And, you know, if it's being, you know, thrown in, in incorrectly, it's very similar to watching how a, a, a goaltender would catch a puck or deflect a puck with his blocker. They're doing it wrong, the pucks go in certain areas, and that, it was something that I was able to pick up very quickly watching the sport. And again, um, I was here, I, I, you know, I, I'm, I love being active, and it's, it gives me an opportunity to work with kids and, um, you know, and, and, you know, teach or give them some of the, the messages, you know, that, that I'd like to give. I'm a police officer, and again, it's a nice, um, way of explaining things to them again about if they're having problems at school to be able to talk about those things and giving them those other ways and avenues to get out of trouble and um, it's just been a perfect fit for me and the uh, so what is it it's it's two days a week the kids classes three on a Saturday is yeah they go uh, two days a week so it's Monday Wednesday um, and then Saturday is a, a mix between an adult and a, and a kids class but then they also have the open nights where it's more of the competitive kids that come up and they're they're kind of on their own they got to do their own workouts and that's really interesting to watch uh, the young kids come in and how they can um, just plan out their workout they they learn things and they do it and you know I think sometimes we always forget um, or we don't give kids credit as much and we always think that we have to plan things out for them but they come in here and they're they're phenomenal i, I mean i watch my my uh, my youngest boy come in here and it's i i'm amazed every time that you know an hour and a half he's probably has the best workout i've ever seen